You will die one day. This is a fact which no one can argue with. It doesn't matter what you believe, who you are, where you've been born, what is your career, how much money you got. All of us are gonna not exist at some point. This is very crucial to ponder upon and think about because many people accept the concept of dying and they sort of brush it away and they continue to live their life. But have you really thought about what does it really mean? For me personally, a few years back, I think four or five years ago, I couldn't really live my life any longer without keep thinking about death. Like I would be going to work. I would just think like this is all pointless, like I'm gonna die one day. And I just couldn't get out of that cycle of thinking about non-existence. And I think there's a reason for that, because it is the ultimate reality. Now we are blinded by our everyday mundane routines, like you brush your teeth, you go out, you go to your job, you go work out, whatever you do, you live in this world, you are active, you know, you have a body, so we try to distract ourselves by doing all these things, doing all these activities. I'm not even talking about the internet, TV and all that, which is taking our attention away. Because if we were to just sit there and you don't have to be a monk and go into the cave or meditate on this, but if you turn off all the things you usually, they usually surround you and if you don't look at the phone and things like that and you just kind of spend, let's say one hour alone with your thoughts, you can just walk in the city. Or you don't really need to go into the city because you'll just watch other people. The best thing is to go to the nature and just sit there. Just really go to the nature and just sit there. Or go to a place where you're completely alone and just kind of observe your thoughts, you know, just, just chill out. In those moments, you're very likely that you will reflect on your life because you'll be able to kind of zoom out and see your life from a third perspective, maybe. Yeah, those things then lead you to Think about your own death and your own mortality. What I used to do when I lived in Prague a few years ago, I would walk these graveyards because I was like, I needed some time to think about my business or something. I thought I needed that time. So I would just walk away and there was these giant graveyards in Prague and they were like trees and it was like a park and no one was there. So it was a great kind of like just, you know, just walk in these graves and they are like very old graves. So I would just walk there and I would just keep looking at the graves at the age of death of people. And I would just think about like, subhanAllah, look at these people. Like hundreds of thousands of people are buried here. And then there's people outside who don't even pay attention to this. They just continue with their lives. And I was just observing that. I didn't have any idea. I didn't make any judgment, nothing. I was just kind of looking at it and thinking like, mm, I'm going to be this one day. <laughs> My existence will be here in this grave, in this, in this like land, and no one will care. Like people will visit me, maybe, but I'm not gonna be there. I'm dead. <laughs> My essence has left. My body will decay. So who am I? What is this? What is this life? What is life? If all of us are gonna go to the grave, and everything in this world seems to, seems to decay. Like everything, if you don't take care about your house and things things get ugly, this world is like set up like that. There's no way to escape this. And people try, especially nowadays, you know, we go to Mars, we try to do some gene therapy, we try to, you know, uh, boost our health and sort of limit our sense of uh, tribulations and physical, uh, physical challenges so we live easier lives but ironically this process led to more depression and more mental problems because we are born and we are uh, sort of our bodies are designed for struggle right so we were never designed for thousands of years to just kind of chill home and be on youtube and write comments and it's very important that we go back to all those people who choose to and those people who are struggling with this idea which i know there's many because i know it because I was that person. And I know these people, you know, we don't talk about death in the Western society or in Europe. People just don't talk about it. So you really have no one to share this with. Most people are, you know, superficial. They don't care about this stuff. And they don't want to talk about it because it makes them very uncomfortable to think about their own mortality. Like, let me just enjoy my life, bro. Stop being negative. Wait a second. What is negative about death? Like, 
There's nothing negative about it. I'm not positive or negative. I just want to know, what do you think about it? Do you ever think about it? And so I remember I would just walk these graveyards. I had this feeling of like, this life is, there is no meaning. There is no purpose. Like, why am I doing all this stuff when I'm going to just be in this grave? Nobody. Um, and like, it seems very depressing at some point. I, I couldn't find a way out. It was very, very dark. Uh, and I'm sure many people are in that place where they feel like, there is no way out of this. Like, um, like what what can you offer me that will save me from from this horrible understanding of mortality and death? And even if you try to distract yourself with drugs and anything like that, you'll always have these thoughts lingering in the background. And people commit suicide. People are really, really, mm, really taken back by this because this is nihilism in its best. Nihilism in this society is peaking. It's the sense of meaninglessness of your existence and the overall objective meaninglessness, meaninglessness of this universe. So there is no purpose behind anything. And so that creates very big troubles for people because like just to live an average life where you go to work and make money, it requires an effort. Like you want a job, you need to go to interviews, you need to beat other candidates. This is so much effort. Then you work and you realize like I'm doing all this stuff and I'm just going to be nothing. Like why am I trying so much for this job when it's like meaningless? Um, you know, and it's hard to see the connections between your basic life's decisions like brushing your teeth going to the toilet then your kind of like career path and then your kind of like the ultimate goal or purpose behind all this and many people are missing this last link like how does it link all these activities together like fun health house this this what's missing and there's one thing missing and this is by design now we have been led astray in the west all of the billions of people because of secularism and this sounds very strange but this is tr the truth like our ancestors didn't have this issue they were completely okay with dying even if they were pagans or if they were christians whatever they were fine with dying because death was everywhere <laughs> there was death killing babies were born they died like that's why they had a lot of babies like it wasn't that difficult like the more sophisticated society became the less the more we sort of distance ourselves from those unpleasant realities of life. But those realities still exist and all of us are going to die. And this is the video, like you're going to die. Like really think about it for a moment and reevaluate what you believe in because there is no escape in this. You're not going to live forever. And anytime we get close to dying, when you have a sickness, you remember when you were sick maybe and you had a really bad fever, or you couldn't do much or you had COVID, I don't know. Those moments really like bring you so close and they really like shatter your perception of what is important and you just care about your health and you really uh, just realize what is important in that moment. And so I think the, the most basic concept of spirituality that you should implement is to contemplate dying, contemplate death and find out a way out. Now, I'm going to propose a way out. And you may not like it, but it saved me and it saved many people. And the way out of this mess is Islam. Like once you realize there's death, you have to come to terms, you're going to die. You have to come to terms and agree with this before you move to the next step on finding the solution. So give up your willpower, give up your sense of pride, your sense of I'm someone. You're nothing. You are nothing. You depend on so many things to just exist. You don't even know if you move your hand how you do this. It's like you have a will to do this, but you didn't tell me what uh, what muscles did you move and how much how many cells did had had to make this move. Like you don't even know how your body functions, how you eat properly, how you go to the toilet. You you only have certain willpower over your body but there things are done automatically for you how are you thinking what are thoughts now you have to really think about this deep because it leads to the concept of you being actually a created being subhanallah this is gonna be very difficult to grasp but that's the reality you didn't create yourself you didn't create yourself and your parents didn't create you because somebody created them and somebody created those and somebody create them. 
So your parents are just a vehicle for your creation, but they didn't give you the essence of life. What is that? What is that essence, that, that thing within you, that, that consciousness, whatever you want to call it? How do you define this? Um, it seems sort of like out of this world, in a sense, where you have a dream sometimes. You, you sort of have these moments in your life where you're like, this world isn't real. You are a creation, bro. You are a creation. And you have to come to terms that you, haven't, you didn't create yourself. Um, you weren't here before and after. You're not uh, forever. So you're not, uh, you know, because you're going to die. So you, there's a beginning to your creation. And everything that begins to exist must be created by something. It cannot be created by itself. And so by creation, I mean bringing things from non-existence to existence. And there's nothing that can do that except the creator. And really, you need to, this is a deep thing, but you need to really contemplate the, the concept of the ultimate creator who has defined, designed, and proportioned all the reality, all this universe, and all this. And then once you un understand you are a created being, there is a creator. Your relationship is subordinate. Once you realize you are completely dependent on this creator, you don't really, and the creator, I don't mean a, a being, I don't mean somebody physical, there's nothing that is like the creator that you can think about it as a thing out just understand it as a thing which which everything depends upon that thing will then give you your purpose that you're looking for and you will need to read the quran but that's how i got into islam because i was trying to figure out the creation problem and then my own mortality led me to it because there was no escape of that most people don't go to find the solution because they believe there isn't because they looked at religions and they found them uh, really strange, which I did as well. But actually, if you have an open mind and you really go deep into Islam, you will find your answers. Um, hopefully that was helpful. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment below. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.